last thing, as far as getting things on the menu, anybody who knows me very well knows I don't go anywhere without a good slingshot. Um, I make these things, uh, I shoot them regularly. Um, I'm pretty good with them. Uh, let's put it this way, I'm about 20 feet from the camera and I, I know I could take it right off with a log it sitting on with no problem at all. Um, this thing has all the power you need to take game like uh, squirrels, rabbits, grouse, um, any kind of small game like that. Obviously, you're not going deer hunting with this thing. It's not designed for that. It, these weapons will take small game cleanly and humanely. And uh, if you're good and if you're patient and you can get yourself a shot, it's worth every, every bit of what it weighs, which is next to nothing. Ammunition, I usually carry um, 20 to 30, 40, 40 to 45 caliber lead balls in my pouch here. I don't think you can see these. If you can't, I'll do another video on these down the road. Um, but I think that this uh, slingshot is worth its weight in gold. They're cheap to make. Um, they're legal just about anywhere and in a survival situation. If you've practiced ahead of time so you can hit something, um, they're really, really good to have. Okay, um, so having said all that, the last thing I haven't talked about is cutting tools. Um, you know, mankind, we don't have big, sharp teeth. We don't have good claws. Um, what do we have? We have brains. So, you know, obviously we can make tools, and it's a darn good thing. Um, we're going to need some, some uh, edges, some cutting edges for several things. We're going to need to cut a lot of firewood. Um, we're going to need to clean our food, our, our fish, and our, our small game that we catch. We're going to need something to dress it with. We need something to help us cook. We need something to cut our cordage. With all that in mind, um, the, the main thing that I like to carry first thing is a Swiss Army knife. Okay? I carry a Swiss Army knife just about everywhere I go. Um, this one has two blades and all um, screwdriver, can opener, things like that. I like them. Um, us knives are just as good. There's a lot of good camp knives style like this that are really useful. Um, and I think they come in handy for a lot of good things. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, a good good sheath knife. Okay, uh, this one here is an old Boy Scout style knife. I've had it for a long time. It's carbon steel, good for good for a, um, letting a, a, a fire using on a fire steel and whatnot. Um, the blade's about four and a half to five inches long, something like that. Uh, it's everything I need. I can make my feather sticks like this. I can clean my game with this. I, everything I need to do, with the exception of processing wood. This is not a knife that I want to baton off of. Um, I don't do that anyway. But um, So the last thing, of course, we're going to need is an axe. Okay. Um, small axes are good. A little bigger axe is more versatile. You can do everything you need to do with an axe this size. You can make fire sticks. You can use your fire steel with this and you can process and split a lot of wood without a lot of effort. Um, the one last thing that I would like to have if I could for, for an edge, I would like to have saw, a small camp saw. Um, you can process wood safely, quickly, um, and without burning a lot of calories, even less so than an axe with saw. But I don't, I don't have one in my pack here today. More is the pity, okay? So if I can only have, as, as cutting edges as a group, these are what I want. If I can only have just one of them, all right, well, if I can only have this one, I'm going to take the knife. I can do most of what I need to do just with this. Okay, with that in mind, we've got our fishing tackle, we've got our traps, we've got uh, our shelter and everything. The last thing we haven't talked about yet, let's put this over here. We're going to need fire. Um, it's damp out here. It's going to get worse tonight. Um, even with the shelter, even with my wool blanket, I will be miserable without a fire. So, I always carry a couple of packs of matches on me. I usually have at least one fire steel when I'm out, uh, sometimes two. Sometimes I carry some lint. Um, so what I have here, first thing I have is I have good fire steel. Okay, um, I like these rods. Uh, I think these things are great. Um, you can get a good sparks off these things. And it's easy to light your fire if you know how to do it and if you've practiced and if you have some good dry tinder. Okay, so need one of those. If you don't have good dry tinder, it's nice to have backup. One of these magnesium blocks can make things a heck of a lot easier on yourself. Um, 
anybody who knows how to use one of these things, you just take your knife and you scrape off strips of this magnesium, keep it into a small pile. When you have a pile oh, about the size of a quarter and maybe twice as thick, that's your tinder. And you put that down in amongst your, 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 your other tinder that you found, your natural stuff that you found out that might be good, okay? Um, and you can strike your spark in there and this stuff burns real fast but real hot. It also has a uh, fire steel on the back. Okay, only problem with these is they wear out quick. You always have a lot more magnesium than you have fire steel left. I don't know why it is, so now I have two. Okay, I lose one, I've got the other. Remember, one is none, two is one. Okay, what else do I have in my, my bag here? I got some dryer lint. Um, dryer lint, I like it. Um, you get a spark in this stuff, it burns quick, it burns hot, it lights, and it's, it makes things a lot easier. I don't carry this stuff all the time, but... It, but um, in the winter time when things are damp, things are wet, and there's snow on the ground, it, it's a world better than just trying to start it from scratch. And of course, wind and waterproof matches. Okay, these things are expensive, they're worth their weight in gold. Um, if you're tired, if you're hungry, you're wet, you're cold, and you're hypothermic, the faster and the easier you can get your fire started, the better off you are. Everybody loves to use a bow drill. We have a lot of fun, you know, getting our ember that way. We're using our fire steel. But in a real survival situation, everything is about how smooth can I get what I need and with how I'm burning very few calories, as few as possible, and without a lot of effort. And believe me, these things can light a fire. I mean, they're good matches. They burn hot and they burn for about 12 seconds, better than any kind of paper matches. Um, they're like six bucks for, I think it's 20 matches in here, worth every penny. I don't use them to start my fire on a day-to-day -day basis. I use my fire steel to practice but I carry these for those times for just in case. Okay, so what we have, we got how we build our fire, we have our cutting tools, we've got some stuff to make uh, shelter, and some hopefully some stuff that we can get ourselves some, some uh, nutrition to keep ourselves going. So if I gotta say five things, if I can only have five things, not five groups, here's my five. Good knife, pot, my fire steel, cordage, lots of it, and a tarp, okay? And the rest of it, if I can have groups, put our cordage, we got our wool blanket, we got our, 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 our tarp, and our cordage goes there, we got our trap, slingshot, and our fishing tackle to feed ourselves, we got water, we got our cutting instruments, we got fire, we got all those things, life's good. Hey, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later.